What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another Battle Pass review video here on the channel and it is our first Battle Pass for Modern Warfare 3. This is the Season 1 Battle Pass with Black Cell right out the gate. And if you pre-ordered the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 3, you got Black Cell Battle Pass for free along with your additional tier skips. And uh, if you're on PlayStation, you got an extra 5. So me being on PC on Battle.net, I got 50. Anybody out there on PlayStation who pre-ordered the Vault Edition, you got 55 tier skips. And of course, you get to start from the special Black Cell sector there at the top. But I'm going to take a second to go through this Battle Pass, and then we'll break down the fastest way to get the new weapons, the new attachments, and all of that jazz. So I guess kick it off down right here. Looking off at Sector A1, we got some you know nice goodies here. The melee time weapon charm, we're bringing back these chibi operator weapon charms. And you see right off the bat here, we are getting DMZ uh, acquisitions. This is not part of your uh, exfil item storage. This goes into the other category um, as you like your re mission rewards. So it says here you get two uh, cryo freeze ammo mods. So once you, you consume these two, they will be gone. But it'll let you spawn in right away with Cryo Freeze to use on your guns. Of course, we got some new weapon double XP. And the Squeeze the Trigger emblem with our first new weapon, the Hot Caution Assault Rifle MCW Blueprint. And it's Black Cell Counterpart um, right here. Hot Caution Black Cell, which looks totally different. You know, the black cells in Modern Warfare 2, they were basically just stylized versions of the blueprints. But this is a totally different blueprint to the gun, which is fantastic. You know, getting two of the exact same blueprints that just look different didn't have much value. But getting two totally different blueprints is insane. And this looks like it comes with Blood Rose Tracers and the Blood Rose Petal Dismemberment. That sounds fantastic. I love the shade of black and gold they used on this thing. It looks great. Moving over to tier A2, we got the Deadly Bloom Emblem, which looks sick. The Sundering Flame SMG. This is a reactive SMG. It's not even like a, a full tier unlock. This thing is sick. Wow. That glowing red kind of cracks through the stone. Oh my god. This thing looks amazing. For the AMR9, the tearing it up large decal. This could look amazing with certain camos. You get an hour of XP. And then you get the jet operator skin for uh, the foliage operator skin for jet. And for Black Cell, we, of course, get Foliage Black Cell, which, again, looks totally different. Hey, my shaders are done. Sick! Uh, it looks totally different than, you know, the Foliage here, because this one has, like, a cape on it. This one does not. Um, but you do get that Black Cell kind of smoky effect coming off of it, which is pretty darn cool. Sector A3, we got the Flaming Fury KV Inhibitor Sniper. Some XP, some COD points, and the Anything That Moves calling card. Not too good, not too bad. You know, quite an average calling card for the game. We get the Undaunted uh, skin for Pathfinder. It looks very stoic, looks very cool. And the Undaunted Black Cell Pathfinder skin, of course, it looks fantastic. At tier A4, you get two refined Ethereum crystals. This is Pack-a-Punched 2. I believe Pack-a-Punch level 2 is a refined crystal. Um, so getting two of these to put in your acquisitions is fantastic. Getting 15 minutes battle, S battle pass XP is fantastic. The red wire weapon charm looks pretty cool. I'm not a fan of the chibi charms myself, but it is there for the people who like it. The Havoc Hawk Large Decal. This could look amazing on a lot of camos as well. I'm a fan of the large decals. Um, I feel like they add a little bit more variety than just the plain weapon stickers. And our new weapon, our first new weapon in the Battle Pass. You get the XRK Stalker Sniper Rifle. And from what I heard, this, this might be the IT Sniper Rifle from what people have tested uh, prior to the season's release. 
I know people are kind of hopeful it'll feel a little bit more like the uh, AX50, a little bit more like that Warzone 1 sniping that we were used to. Um, I know Butters, when she was testing it out, she said it kind of felt like the Locust from BO4, which is a good sign for me because I love the Locust. And I am very excited to try this out. Uh, it'll definitely be one of the next camo videos to go up, you'll see. So be, stay tuned for that. We got 30 minutes of double weapon or double XP and another 30 minutes of double weapon XP on top of it. And here we have the smoke maker, which looks to be a blueprint for the tier or the TYR handgun. And it says this item is temporarily unavailable in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I wonder if there's a bug. Might have been a bug with this one, or it might require a um, acquisition, like a aftermarket part that is bugged out or unavailable at the moment. Interesting there. They basically took the the pistol that you can kind of turn into a sniper, and they just turned it into a sniper. So <laughs> that's it's gonna be one of those trolley blueprints that you bust out, and people can't take you seriously in search, and they get pissed. Oh, the muy bueno, muy bueno. No, muy bueno finishing move. Looks, this dude's getting absolutely roundhoused right now. He is dropping. There is death in these eyes. There's the money shot. Yeah. Oh, there, there's the money shot. Right there. Perfect. That's all we needed to see. Moving on to the Resonance uh, skin for Enigma. You know, this orange theme the skin's got going on is pretty cool. This orange and black kind of reminds me of Deathstroke from Titans, Teen Titans. It's very Deathstroke-esque aesthetic. Uh, and looking at the Resonance Black Cell skin, you know, he's got the hood up, he's got the drip, uh, the smoke effect. Very, very cool. Black cells in this are very, very, very nice. We have the Armed and Dangerous coming up number, coming up number first, I was gonna say. The Armed and Dangerous charm is coming up first. There it is, uh, in tier A6. We have the Out of the Fire Emblem, we get the Lead Rain Calling Card, another very average animated calling card. 100 COD points, and we got our first vehicle skin, the Firewalker skin for the Coyote. So, there is that. Moving over to A7, we have the Firewalk Weapon Sticker, 30 minutes of XP for the Battle Pass. The Boom Ball Weapon Charm, nice little grenade charm. This could definitely be a grenade skin in the near future, hope to see it. And we got the Roaring Fire at Large decal. Not my favorite. Could be cool, but not my favorite. And our second new weapon of the Battle Pass, the Ram 7. We all know the Ram 7. We love the Ram 7. It's going to function as the Ram 7 should function. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Moving over to Sector A8, we have the Bend and Snap finishing move. This one looks extremely violent. And those are always the best ones. We have 30 minutes of double weapon XP. We have the Throw Caution Marksman Rifle Blueprint for the MTZ Interceptor. Um, aesthetically, I really like this thing a lot, actually. I think it looks really good. I don't think I'll be a fan of the sight on it, but it does. It looks very pleasing. 100 COD points. And then we have the Speedrunner skin for Doc. Um, got the headset on top. I don't know. Looks all right, but switching over to the black cell skin, where I'm lost here. Uh, we have the speedrunner black cell skin, and this is clean because Doc gets the uh, head covering here, the shoulder pads, the knee pads. Oof! I love the shiny black in this. The shiny black is what does it for me. Moving over to sector A9, we're starting it off with the Shroom Boom weapon sticker. We have the Close Encounters emblem. We have the Operator Infill Calling Card, and we have the Chemical, sorry, the Chemical Compliant Weapon Charm. These are all super standard, you know, super, super standard, uh, almost like base game level items. Nothing too crazy. And then we get the Swift Death Gutter Knife Blueprint, which, you know, our first Gutter Knife Blueprint. It's probably never going to turn out crazy for your first Weapon Blueprint, but... At least we're getting one. So this might look pretty cool with camos on it. We'll just have to wait and see. In Sector A10, we get the Desert Warfare Calling Card. The Perfect Pair Calling Card. The Heat Stroke Handgun for the Renetti. 
Um, very similar to our AMR9 blueprint from Sector 2. Very I love this. I love this. I think it looks so sick. We have the Practice Makes Perfect Emblem. And then we got the Ultra Hot Battle Rifle Blueprint for the MTZ 762. The blueprint itself looks kind of alright. I'm not going to lie. The dead, I'm, I like what they're going for with this. But we really want to look at is the Black Cell variant. Which of course looks very different from the other. And it's so shiny. It's so shiny. I want to see what it looks like in game. I want to see what it looks like with camos. These black cell weapons have so much potential. And I want to see it. I want to see them unleash that potential. In sector A11, we get 100 COD points off the bat with 45 minutes of double XP coming up after. The fireproof calling card, which is very cool. It's, you know, kind of all this fiery theme is to foreshadow you know what comes up here in a minute but we get another hundred cod points and then our operator skin is the refuge skin for scorch uh another new operator and we get the refuge black cell skin for scorch right here which looks fantastic just like every other black cell skin i think i kind of like yeah yeah this skin just looks weird to me he's got a big poofy head Baggy pants. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. But Black Cell Skin, Black Cell Skin is pretty cool. In Sector A12, we're starting off the bat with the Bass B Blueprint Carbonize, which is pretty cool. And it also has a Black Cell variant, the Carbonize Black Cell right here. Which again, it's just, it, they, these have so much potential. It looks so good. I, I hope it looks this good with camos, and you know, in game. It, that's the real kicker is you can't tell how it looks in game. You get 45 minutes of double weapon XP. You get the form up weapon sticker. We get the blast wave large decal. And our first DLC launcher since, I, I don't know, Black Ops 4 maybe? The uh, S Stormender. What a name, the Stormender? We're going to have to check it out. You know, I don't even know what to expect from this thing. We're just going to have to check it out. In Sector A13, you get 100 COD points. You get the Skull Sight Large Decal. You get one hour of double weapon XP. You get the Fire Marshal Loading Screen. I'm always a fan of loading screens. And finishing it off the Sector with another 100 COD points. At A14, we get the Overt Systems mcw blueprint we always love an mcw blueprint it's probably going to be very meta this season in warzone you get the emulator uh dm56 marksman rifle blueprint we got that fiery magma earthen design going on uh we got 100 cod points and we get the revenge redeemer finishing move this is brutal this catches my fancy this catches my uh, this catches my fancy. And all this fiery foreshadowing is to show off our brand new aftermarket part you get in this battle pass. The Jack Purifier. This is a flamethrower. A underbarrel aftermarket part that is a flamethrower. I know this has a extremely limited range. It doesn't reach 10 meters. I don't know how far it reaches. It's... 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 Not very far. But I also know this is your new riot shield counter. You hate riot shielders? Throw on this attachment real quick. Get rid of them. Just get rid of them. You know? What's the issue? If you're complaining about a riot shielder now, what's the issue? That's all I got to say about that one. Moving on to sector A15. We got 30 minutes of double weapon XP and 100 COD points. Our next DMZ acquisition is two times the Shatter Blast ammo mod. And then we get the Molten Mire uh, WSP-9 or the Wasp-9, whatever you'd say for that gun right there. And finishing it off, we get another 100 COD points. Moving over to Sector A-16, we get two Epic Aether Tools, which this is the purple rarity for your gun. We also get the stare down, uh, 
weapon sticker. I thought I was gonna say large decal, but it's just a regular weapon sticker. We get the hits uh 50 pack. Is it like the 50 caliber pack? I kind of like that. I kind of like that. This is a, this is a cute charm. It's kind of funny. I like that. We get the flyby loading screen. I love my loading screens. And our next blueprint in the game is the advanced lethality uh, XRK stalker sniper rifle. I like the blue in this. Kind of like an aqua. And then the gunmetal on top. And of course it has a black cell variant. Um, here is the black cell version of the gun. Oh, so shiny as it is. Moving over to Sector A17, we are almost done with this battle pass. We have the Deal Breaker Blueprint for the Lockwood 680 Shotgun. We get one hour of double XP. We get the Saving the Day Large Decal, an hour of double weapon XP. And then we get the Sigma Barbecue Skin. You heard me. Barbecue. BBQ. That's the skin. Okay, not too bad for the base version, and the Black Cell version, I'm actually not a fan of. I think it's the first one where I like the base version way better than the Black Cell version. And you know what? That's okay, because it's still a free skin, and I'll take that. In Sector A18, we're starting off with the Ground Zero loading screen. If the loading screen would load on my screen, that'd be fantastic, because I'd love to show it to you. Perfect, there it is. We get the Sand Blasters Calling Card. We get the Tactical Engineering Cat AMR Sniper Rifle. This looks clean as hell. I'm going to be running that. We also get the Aftermath Emblem. And we get the Heavy Machine Holger 556 Assault Rifle Weapon Blueprint. And of course we get a Black Cell variant of the very same weapon blueprint. In Sector A19 we're starting off with the Constant DG56 Assault Rifle. And coming up second is the Grin and Grim Emblem. She looks crazy in this emblem. And that is going to be right up most people's alley. Right here, we get a Zombie Acquisition Legendary Aether Tool. This is Orange Rarity, and we get two of them. And here's a little tip for everybody. You actually get a... I think it's a calling card. I think it's a calling card. What you need to do is exfil, I think with max perks, to, and two weapons that are Orange Rarity and Pack-A-Punch 3... And I think they need ammo mods as well. You need a maxed out inventory. I think that's the requirement. I know you at least need maxed out weapons. Pack 3 legendary. I don't know about the ammo mod. I don't know about your perks. So you'd have to double check my work on that one. But if you're trying to get that calling card. Because it is pretty cool. Go ahead and use these up. Make sure you, uh, you know you can tombstone your way to getting some extra points before that game. And then hey go for it man. Go for it. A very sick loading screen right here. Discarded heat. This is dope. This is a dope loading screen. That's sick. And then finishing off the tier, you get the Incite skin for Scorch. This is awesome. This is really cool. We love this right here. And the Black Cell version of it is also freaking sick. I love this skin. This is super cool. Uh, the last base battle pass here we have to worry about. We get 100 COD points right out of the gate. Um, we get the gas ready weapon sticker. The combat ready charm. We get the drone assault loading screen in reference to the new uh, streak that just got it added. Or the, got it added? Got added into the game. And then we get the all rounder. Uh, assault Rifle Blueprint for the Ram 7, our brand new weapon in this battle pass. And of course we get a Black Cell version of this blueprint as well. Because we love that. Uh, moving on over to the Completionist tier. This is your tier 100. We get 3, count them, 300 COD points. We get the The Furnace Assault Rifle Blueprint for the MTZ 556. Which, of course, is perfection. The MTZ is so good. And having this as a Tier 100, it just makes sense. And then our Tier 100 Battle Pass skin, we get Scorcher for Nolan. And this dude is burning 
up. It reminds me of Ghost Rider, which is sick. I love Ghost Rider. I love those movies. Nicholas Cage. Oh, he did so good. I loved it when he showed up in Agents of Shields. Not Nicholas Cage, but a different Ghost Rider. Um, so good. And of course, we get a Black Cell variant of Nolan as well. And the red flames coming off of him here with that kind of dripping effect, that dripping shadow effect. It gives off the appearance that his suit is like melting off of him. And I love it. Absolutely love it. And we have one final tier in this battle pass. We have the Black Cell tier of this battle pass. The bread and butter of the new battle pass system. We get the flexed upon operator finishing move. I don't know what's going on right here. But it looks absolutely insane. You get 1100 COD points. You get the Man of War shotgun blueprint for the Haymaker. This is a Black Cell shotgun blueprint, but it has the same glowing effect as, you know, the base weapons in this battle pass, like the Furnace or that uh, pistol blueprint or even the uh, AMR-9 blueprint from Tier 2. It's got that same glowing effect on a Black Cell weapon. And I, I love that they merged it right here. It's that was that's such a cool thing they did not have to do that they chose to do is they merged the two effects to bring them together. You get the war horse skin for the coyote. Um, so I guess that's why we didn't get like a black cell vehicle down there is because they put it in this tier instead, which is fine. Whatever we just I mean I feel like we just missed out on something, but it is what it is. And we get the Abolisher Black Cell skin. Which is going absolutely nuts. I'm trying, I'm looking at these goggles right here. This shit's going crazy. You ain't hiding from nobody with this skin on. And you know, I'm okay with that. This thing's going crazy. I don't know. It looks so cool to me. I'm definitely, definitely a huge fan of this. And of course, as a side note, at the top here, you do get to see our event sector in the Battle Pass that always shows up. You know, it's available in 13 days as of day one of this video. So, there's that. But how could I forget? I did all of that, and I didn't even tell you what you get at the base Battle Pass Operator tier. I'm so sorry. We are backpedaling all the way to the start. And here's what you get for the base Battle Pass, just for owning this shit. You get the 10% Battle Pass XP boost, of course, obviously, which that is the Season 6 uh, picture from Modern Warfare 2 and not this picture down here. So that's cool. That makes sense. We got the Launch Control Weapon Blueprint for the Striker 9 SMG. We have the Hands Off the Merchandise Finishing Move. That's wild. She's like literally breaking his knee, breaking his ankle. We have the Dokabi, the uh, Dokabi, I think I'm saying that right, Dokabi Black Cell, which I adore this skin, this skin is hot, this is awesome, and then we also get the base Nolan Operator, and we get the base Nolan Operator's Black Cell variant, which is very armored and very cool, I enjoy this a lot actually. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I just skipped over that. So, my bad. Of course, as soon as we bought the Battle Pass, we turned off our automatic tier skips. That way we can choose our pathing to our brand new weapons and be unaffected by everything going on. I guess, here's the point in the video where I show you the fastest way to get the brand new weapons in the Season 1 Battle Pass for Modern Warfare 3. And, you know, there's two very different ways you can go about this. You can go about this the way of buying Black Cell. That lets you go from the Black Cell tier. And, of course, with buying Black Cell, you may now purchase tiers A16 and A20 rather than tiers 1, 2, 3. You know, you can just start from over here. So, unfortunately, that makes this... I guess fortunately, not unfortunately, that makes this way easier where instead of going all the way through here, we can just grab blueprints for this gun. So I'm going to start right here at the black cell tier and I'm going to pick up sectors A16, 
which if I hold C here, it'll grab all of them. And there we are with our new XRK Stalker weapon blueprints, which is our new weapon here. So we have two blueprints for the new sniper that we can use. And in sector A20, we will do the same, holding C. And as you can see here, we have two new Ram 7 blueprints between the Black Cell and the regular all-rounder blueprints instead of going straight for the standard Ram 7. And now the only other weapon we have to chase is our brand new launcher and our new aftermarket part. So we're going to be picking up our new aftermarket flamethrower part by grabbing tier A14. And then we will grab tier A13 to move us along the battle pass and finish it off with sector A12, getting us our new launcher, the Stormender. And right there, that is the fastest way for you to get the new weapons. But you're like, wait, I didn't buy battle pass or I didn't buy the vault edition of the game, meaning I didn't get Black Cell for free. Well, if you want to work efficiently to get all these new weapons, the way I would take it is you can go through sectors uh, A1 and then you have an option, right? So I'm going to grab A1 real quick. You have an option here. Um, it shouldn't make too much of a difference, but you can go through A2 or A3 because we still want to work towards this Ram 7, right? So we are going to go through A2 and pick up the skin. And then we can go right here and pick up our XRK Stalker. And of course, right here, you would work your way up through A8 to A12. And then we can work our way down with A5 to A6. Or of course, we can do the same with A3 to A6 and work our way over to this Ram 7. But we want to go through A5 to give us a second option to get this fireworks, or not fireworks, but we can go through A13 or A5. There's multiple ways you can go this time. It's super, super easy, super convenient. There's not one surefire path. So just pick and choose what rewards you like better. But yeah, I'll be going through A5. And then A6. And then right here, if this is where you were on PlayStation, right, you would have five extra tiers where you could pick up this Ram 7 right now. Lickety split. That would be your fastest way to unlock the new weapons. And I hope that was super helpful. I hope you guys enjoy this battle pass. I think this battle pass is solid. So if you want to see more like this, stay tuned. If you want to see bundle reviews, stay tuned. If you want to see all these weapons get interstellar, and Borealis, stay tuned for that as well. Check back for more, like, and subscribe, please, and thank you. Every link you need to keep up with me and Call of Duty is down in the description below. And our official group now, our official group is on screen now. Sharp shooters, feel free to join up and find someone to play with in this brand new season. There's a whole lot to do, especially with that tier four zombie zone getting added, a Easter egg, whatever it is. Go check it out, it's difficult. You're going to need some friends to help you. Might as well check out Sharpshooters. And with all that being said, I will see you all next time.